Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I want to talk to you again about that urgency of prayer. You know, it says in 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek his face, and turn from our wicked ways. The promise is that he'll hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. What a great exhortation, especially in these days in which we live. Now, the Bible says that in the last days, perilous times will be upon us, and we can see that everywhere we go. It seems that almost everywhere we turn, evil seems to be winning. But folks, I want to encourage you to realize the fact that we are on the winning side. We, If you read the end of the book, you see that we win. But there will be some struggles and some trials on the way. So, why am I talking to you again? Well, the other morning when I was in prayer, God spoke to my heart. And He began to talk to me about mobilizing people for prayer. And so, that's what I'm doing right now. So, whether it is through social media or on AM 930 The Light, I'm going to be encouraging people to go to that place of prayer. To do what? To seek God on behalf, first of all, of ourselves. That we would draw close to Him. That we would desire to know Him better. That through the power of prayer, that we could see the transformation of our own world. Secondly, pray for our families. Second. Uh, Acts 16.31 says that not only shall we be saved, but our household as well. Let's pray that God would intervene in the lives of our family and friends. That they would come to know His grace, mercy, and love. Then, let's pray for our churches. Let's pray for the pastors. Because part of the secret of this great revival that I believe is going to come is because of the fact that when the pastors are on fire for Jesus Christ. When the man behind the pulpit is preaching the Word of God and on fire, then the people in the pew will become on fire and believe as well for the Word of God to transform their lives. We also need to pray for our society in general. You see, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 14.34 that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So, what I'm going to be doing for the next 75 days, yes, it's only 75 days uh, to the end of June. I'm going to encourage you every single day with different scriptures talking to you about the importance of prayer. And whether it is through this avenue where I'm sitting in my office and talking to you or on AM 930 The Light, we're going to be talking to you, encouraging you exhorting you to pray. You see, it is important because God's people are the ones who can change our situation. Will you believe God with me that we would see a breakthrough? A breakthrough in our families, a breakthrough in ourselves, a breakthrough in our churches, a breakthrough in our society. Let's believe God for not a hundred or souls or so, but let's believe God for the impossible. You know, the Bible says that the Lord can do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond what we're able to ask or imagine. You know, I'm believing that over the next 75 days, that God could raise up 100,000 people in my province of Alberta alone. That we could see a million souls be won and uh, brought forward to the kingdom of God in the next 75 days. You say, that sounds impossible. It sounds beyond comprehension. Do we not have a God who can do that? Do we not have a God that we can touch entire societies? You know, recently in Africa, there was a crusade done by Reinhard Bunke. And in that crusade, over one million people came to know the Lord. In one crusade, folks, is not the same God who was working in Africa, in China, and around the world cannot move in Canada? United States? I believe so. It's time for revival. And it all starts with prayer. Would you join me and believe God for miracles? To believe for a breakthrough? And for the next 75 days, will you join me in prayer? And would you 
and we will see incredible things when we all get together and pray. And I encourage you not only to pray individually, but to get together in small groups and pray. The issue is there's a call to prayer going on. Will you join me? Will you believe with me as God will do what he will do and he will answer your prayers? My name is Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day.